December 2024. The Pentagon quietly approved one of the most consequential air power decisions of the decade. $7.8 billion. Not to build a new fighter jet. Not for a prototype. Not for a sixth generation airframe. But to transform an aircraft that already dominates the skies into something even more lethal. The F-22 Raptor. For over 20 years, China and Russia have built entire air combat strategies around one assumption. Avoid the F-22 at all costs. Now, that aircraft is being reborn. And what the U.S. Air Force is creating doesn't just extend the Raptor's life. It blurs the line between fifth and sixth generation fighters. This isn't an upgrade. It's a revolution. America operates roughly 143 combat-coded F-22s. That's it. They're the most capable air superiority fighters ever built. Unmatched in stealth, speed, sensor fusion, and kinematics. But there's a hard truth. The F-22 first flew over 26 years ago, entered service in 2005, and its production line was shut down more than a decade ago. Meanwhile, the threat environment has changed completely. China is fielding hundreds of J-20 stealth fighters. Russia continues refining the Su-57. Both nations are racing toward their own sixth-generation programs. The Air Force faced a brutal decision. Wait until the late 2020s or beyond for NGED risking a dangerous capability gap or take the most dominant air superiority fighter ever built and push it beyond anything the world has seen. They chose the second option. By late 2024, contracts began landing. RTX secured over $1 billion for advanced sensor upgrades. Lockheed Martin received hundreds of millions to develop next-generation infrared systems. The scope of this modernization is staggering. Every major limitation of the original F-22 is being addressed. The biggest change starts with how the Raptor sees the battlefield. The F-22 is receiving a modern infrared search and track system, IRSD. Unlike radar, IRSD is completely passive. It detects the heat signatures of enemy aircraft and missiles without emitting a single signal. No warning, no radar spike, no clear being hunted. The Air Force plans to equip all Block 30 and 35 Raptors with these systems. At the same time, the jet gains advanced synthetic aperture radar upgrades, delivering high-resolution, three-dimensional battlefield mapping. Air threats, ground threats, precision geolocation, all fused into a single tactical picture. Modern air combat isn't decided by speed alone. It's decided by control of the electromagnetic spectrum. The F-22's electronic warfare suite is undergoing a complete overhaul. These upgrades allow the Raptor to jump enemy radars, disrupt communications, blind air defense networks, defeat incoming missiles. The Raptor is no longer just a stealth fighter. It's a flying electronic warfare platform, protecting itself and everything around it. For years, one limitation stood out. The F-22 lacked a modern helmet-mounted display. That's now changing. Pilots are receiving the Scorpion helmet system, allowing them to designate targets simply by looking at them. No complex button sequences. No sensor gymnastics. You look. You lock. You engage. In close-range combat, that advantage is decisive. Originally, the F-22 struggled with data sharing. That era is over. New upgrades bring full two-way link, 16 connectivity, allowing seamless coordination with F-35s, F-15 E times S, Navy and Marine Corps aircraft, Allied forces. The F-22 is becoming the command node of the air battle, but it doesn't stop there. The upgraded Raptor is being designed to control collaborative combat aircraft, loyal wingman drones. One pilot, multiple autonomous aircraft, the drones scout ahead, draw enemy fire, expose threats. The F-22 stays in the safest possible position, directing the fight. One Raptor controlling three or four drones becomes a mini Air Force. Numerical advantage disappears. The Air Force is also developing low-drag stealth external fuel tanks for the F-22. 
22. These are not traditional drop tanks. They are aerodynamically optimized, stealth-shaped, and designed to allow supersonic flight with external fuel. For the vast distances of the Pacific theater, this is critical. Range is power. Persistence is dominance. Weapons matter. The F-22 is integrating the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. This missile was designed specifically to counter China's PL-15. Longer reach. Higher survivability. Engagement before the enemy can respond. The Raptor now hunts from farther away and remains unseen while doing it. All of this is tied together by continuous software upgrades. Increment 3, 2 bytes brings. High resolution mapping. Threat geolocation. Advanced weapon integration. Faster sensor fusion. The F-22 is becoming a flying supercomputer, processing combat faster than any human ever could. Here's the strategic brilliance. Every technology being tested on the F-22 feeds directly into NGAD. Stealth coatings, drone control algorithms, electronic warfare techniques. The Raptor is now a live flying testbed. When sixth generation fighters arrive, they won't be improving concepts. They'll be refinements of capabilities already validated in combat aircraft. Technically, no. Sixth generation includes optional manning and deeper AI autonomy. But capability-wise, the gap has never been smaller. Advanced stealth? Check. I assisted sensor fusion? Check. Drone control? Check. Network-centric warfare? Check. The Super Raptor is closer to sixth generation than anything flying today. $7.8 billion through 2029. Nearly $11 billion by 2031. That sounds massive. Until you realize that's about $72 million per aircraft to transform jets that already dominate the skies. For comparison, that money buys about 132 F-35As. But F-35s can't do what a Raptor does. Speed, altitude, pure air dominance. This isn't maintenance. It's transformation. The F-22 has already proven itself in combat. Operations against Iranian-aligned threats. Panatratiun missions alumcida stealth bombes. Drawing fire to expose enemy air defenses. Not a single Raptor has ever been shot down. That record matters. This program sends a clear signal. To China, air superiority over Taiwan will not be easy or cheap. To Russia, NATO airspace remains untouchable. To allies, American air power is not fading. The F-22 is not retiring quietly. It's being reborn. The $7.8 billion Super Raptor program isn't about nostalgia. It's about ensuring air dominance during the most dangerous transition period in modern warfare. The F-22 isn't fading into history. It's writing the next chapter. And once again, it's setting the standard the rest of the world must chase. This is RS Military, and the Raptor still owns the sky.